Hello, Justin Good here, and today I'm reviewing a LEGO Fabuland 1986 set, and it's his Walter Walrus in his motorboat. Let's open this up since it is unopened. Yes, I like to open up old LEGO sets. Let me just slide this out. Everything just comes out like that. So here is Sinner, no, sorry, Siegfried, no, wait, sorry, Walter Walrus. This guy is one of the newer style Lego Fabulary minifigures, which were used from 1986 to, I think, 1988. You can tell because of his pupils, uh, they're much bigger, or his eyes are just much more cartoony than the older style ones. And if you don't know how a Fabulary minifigure works, and this is your first Throwback Thursday review, well, compare them to the size of a regular Lego minifigure, and you can see that they're much bigger, bulkier, their arms kind of work the same, uh, but they can't rotate around their little hands, um, and their legs sort of work the same, except they could be attached to four studs, and you can move them just about uh, in very similar ways, and their heads actually rotate all around because they're kind of on this little mini ball joint, which is quite interesting. Either way, Walter Warwick comes in about, I think, two other sets. Um, so he's not exclusive, but he is sort of hard to find. So that's it for Walter Walrus. So here's Walter Walrus's little motorboat. Uh, this design is very simple, but I like it because I don't have any boats like this. The actual kind of a uh, boat itself, that piece is pretty rare, especially in this yellow color where it only came in one other set, which was some storyteller set from Fabuland. That one's really hard to find. Uh, so this is really the most common way to get it. And even then, this set's still kind of rare since it is such an old set from more than 20 years ago. I mean, this is actually the 30th anniversary of this set, uh, 1986. That was 30 years ago. That's so crazy. And you can see that they used the top of the Fabuland mailbox for the front uh, in terms of some of the Fabuland pieces they use in blue, uh, which was also used in that Bulldog set, which is pretty common. Uh, some other rarer pieces include this... Uh, window frame that isn't used anymore where it's kind of tilted and uh, they also use the actual uh, steering wheel that they use for boats uh, still to this day but in red which is pretty rare other than that I mean there's enough space to fit Walter Walrus himself just a cool little boat design I love Lego boats in general so this one is actually useful outside of this context I'll probably modify it or something to fit Lego minifigures and and update the design or I could just put it in my Lego Fabulous setup just like this because it fits in perfectly so that's it for the build. <sighs> I filmed this segment before I opened the box, but you can see it just kind of flaps open like that. You have the pieces on display on the bottom. Then on the top, they have a little story. It says, Walter Walrus, captain in his motorboat. Captain Walter loves his sail along the coast of Fabuland. It has uh, some alternate builds right there. And just all around, very cool little like uh, detailing and everything. Uh, it's, does, it's not like packed as like a traditional Lego set because of that little flap with the pieces. And you can see they have the building steps on the back right there. I guess they don't have instructions in here. And then they have another look at the set on the side. This little catalog is also included, but I think I'll save that for another video looking through the catalog. So overall, like many Fabuland sets, it comes with a lot of pieces that aren't used anymore. And for a $5 set, because this actually originally retailed for $5, which is kind of hard to believe. I mean, there's a lot packed in here. It's a, it's a still small build, but there's a lot of stuff going on here, which I quite like. Uh, the design of Walter Walrus uh, is kind of controversial because some people don't like the newer style Fabuland minifigures. I don't mind. I think they could kind of mend in with the older style ones. It is kind of weird that they changed up the style, though. Uh, and it's cool to get some rarer pieces like this boat piece and Walter Walrus himself. Uh, but overall, I think it's just a cool set to look at. And like I said, I'm going to continue looking at LEGO Fabuland sets because I really love the theme and I'm trying to collect it. Uh, so it's going to be like every other Throwback Thursday, you'll see a Fabuland review at this point. But then eventually I'll probably run out Fabuland sets to get. Either way, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.